to create and print a common template letter or labels for a group of patients and each letter with patient specific merge data like the patient's name, their address, which these are called merge fields. So if we want to go ahead and create a, a basic template, for example, let's say that we're moving our practice, we want to know, notify all the patients that we have in Advanced MD, go under the master files, down to templates, and then click on patient document templates. Click new and Microsoft Word pulls up. Now I can't see all my margins left and right and only a portion of my header so what I'll do is up on the uh, zoom arrow select page width. Now I can see all my borders. What I want to do is since I want to have it in the upper right hand corner the office's name and address my cursor is flashing up here up on the toolbar I'm going to click on the right align button so my cursor automatically flushes over to the right pull in the provider's information. I could simply type it in here, that's true, but if I create this template once and we move and I update um, the provider's information, it'll automatically update this template. So when I can, I always try to use merge fields. I'll hold down the Alt key on the keyboard and hit the letter S and it pulls up the merge fields. You have your dates and anytime you see PT, it's for patient, so there's the patient full name, patient uh, last name, middle name. Scrolling down, RP is for responsible party, PRI for primary insurance carrier, SEC for secondary, DER for tertiary or the third carrier, PROV for provider, and then for the visit or data service. So the first thing I'll do is I'll scroll up and double click on the provider's full name enters it as a merge field. I'll hit enter and hit Alt S again. Scroll all the way down. Do provider street. Alt S, comma space. Now when you're finished entering in these merge fields, make sure you have spaces between them, at least one, because if you don't, then they're locked or kissing together, you're going to see a lot of weird things happening when you try to generate your mail merge later on. So we'll make sure we have spaces. Then turn, you'll notice I'm still aligned to the right. So up on the formatting toolbar, I'll click on the align left button. Then I'll hit enter again. I'll double click and enter in the date today merge field. So anytime I generate this mail merge, it'll pull in the current date. Next, let's enter in the patient's full name. And then dear, you know what we could do is we could copy and paste the patient full name merge field down here and it will show up twice in our merge letter, one under the ad, well for the address, then the second time down here. Highlight it, hold down the control key on the keyboard, click and drag. You'll see the little plus sign next to my cursor and when I let go of the mouse, it automatically populates or brings a copy over of the patient's full name merge field. I want to pull up again the provider's full name. Close it up. And then you can either type in your own name or do another merge field to enter in the provider's name. Once we're finished with our mail merge template, click Save. It'll ask you to type in a name. And then you'll notice down here, you can't click OK until you actually type in a letter or two in the description. Even one letter will suffice, and then click OK. Once it's saved, we can close out of Microsoft Word. And then now we have it out here as a new template. And now we're ready to go ahead and pull up that template and do a mail merge on all the patients that we have in our office key for Advanced MD. To do so, go under the Reports menu down to patient listings and then over and down and click on patient mail merge. First thing we want to do here is select our mail merge template. Ours that we just created was the moving template so we'll click on the ellipsis button, find it, double click. Now below we have a couple of options here. None of them are required to generate our mail merge or to print letters for our hundreds or thousands of patients in advanced MD. 
but if we wanted to, like for example, we can sort our letters once we print them. So for example, we can sort them by patient. Last name, that when we print these letters, we can print them ascending from A to Z, last name being the sorter. We can also, after the sort by last name, go ahead and sort again, but this time by first name. So what will happen is, let's say we have a bunch of patients with the same last name as Smith. After it sorts them by last name first, and say we have 20 Smiths, it'll then look to the first names within the Smiths and sort them by the first names. Of course, you can do it descending by checking the box. Down below is the filter option. Now, if there's certain types of patients you want to send these letters to, like let's say all the patients that are in Utah. Well, if I go ahead and click Next, it'll only generate the mail merge for the patients that have a Utah value. Instead, I want to pull all the patients, so I'll leave the uh, filter by category to blank. And click Next when you're finished here. It generates a preview for you to look at. Basically, what you want to see here is to make sure you see something. If you don't see anything, there's one of two things you can do and click the back arrow and check your filter and either change it or set it to blank or you may have to go back to your moving template and make some edits there things like making sure your merge fields aren't touching so I'm happy with this so I'll click next again up here it says I have 32 records total in my advanced MD and of the 32 here's the first 10 and here's the last 10 if you recall, I sorted by last name first. So here we go, Abbott, Ann, and the B's are there. And then after I sort them by last name, I sort them by first name. Meaning that if I have any last names that are matching, like I have two Bradleys here, it then sorts them by the first name, but not ascending, I chose descending. So there you go, the O before the E and John and Jeff. If I'm happy with this, the last step is to click the Finish button pull all your patients up in Microsoft Word. If you recall, I had 32 records, so down below on the stats bar, I have one page of 32. I'm looking at the first page. Pulls in all the information for the, from the patient and also from the doctor. And scroll down and look at them page by page. And if they all look good, or I want to make special um, reminders to certain patients, like let's say Anne, click in here maybe delete some information type some extra information that's proprietary to uh, Sandy Ann and so when I print this off she's the one that gets a special note and everybody else has the same thing when you're finished you can go ahead and click the print button or click save to save it for later